Now this is a narrow leaf sage, a salvia lavandula folia. If I just pick a piece off, compare the size and shape of the leaves. But although the leaves are smaller, they have perfect taste. Now, this bush has seen better days, and I'd like more of them anyway, so I'm going to take cuttings from it. And it doesn't matter if a plant is old and, quite frankly, knackered. It can still give you really healthy cuttings that will become lovely, fresh, vigorous new plants. Put that in the bag, close it up, and that means that it is losing less moisture, but it's still really important that I treat this as something that can't be put off. I'll deal with it right now. So just remove the lower leaves, exactly as Carol did, and pop that in down to there. And then we'll work around the edge. Now, you can cut the leaves off if there's a risk of tearing these soft stems. Put some grit over the top of that. Now that needs watering, but because they're softwood cuttings and therefore will die very quickly unless they grow roots, they need to be kept moist. That doesn't mean to say the soil kept moist, but the air. So I'm going to put them in the greenhouse. Now, if you don't have a mother plant to take cuttings from, you can still grow sage or, for that matter, any herb at all, because they grow very well from seed. And you'll find that you can buy seed of sage very easy. This tends to be the officinalis. So, a peat-free compost, and the seeds are quite big, but you can see one little packet of seed, if they all germinate and if they all grow well, is going to give me dozens of sage bushes. And now, cover those with grit. But now, if you don't have grit, a little bit of sieve compost is fine. But they will grow up through the grit without any trouble at all. And what the grit does is hold them in place and means that when you water them, they won't be knocked around. I very often use vermiculite for this rather than grit. There we are. And then we will label this. And obviously, I need to water these. And the seed don't need anything like the careful treatment of the cuttings. Put them to one side. If you've got a greenhouse, that's fine. But the windowsill is perfect, or a cold frame. Then, when the plants have two true leaves, they can be pricked out and grown on. And they can be planted out either in the autumn, or if you live in a wet area, as I do, probably better next spring.